Today we'll be going through the dendrochronology technique. As discussed in our lichenometry video, dendrochronology can be used in conjunction with lichenometry to date rockfall events. And as you can see, we're standing in an area of a previous massive rockfall event. So today we're going to take you through how to core a tree. So you've got the following instruments to core the tree. So what you want to do is take the first instrument here and you want to place it roughly at chest level. So roughly here. And what you do is you just point that in there and you take this instrument here and you place that in the hole there. And then you rest this instrument all together with a bit of pressure on your chest. And you start to cork. So when removing the core, what you want to do is you want to turn the increment 90 degrees, but this time anti-clockwise before you take it out. And then you literally just pull out the core. And as you can see, it's quite difficult. And there you've got your core. And as you can see, that's the halfway mark just there. And you'd be counting the rings from there to there. After you've collected your core, the next step is to place it into a tube or container to store it and prevent it from being damaged before analysis. Always remember to label your cores as soon as they have been collected. It's also important to note when carrying out dendrochronology that if you do make a mistake you cannot then go and core the tree a second time because it needs time to regenerate. So if you do make a mistake, just move on to another tree. Analyzing tree cores allow us to date how old the tree is. The growth rings enable us to reconstruct past climates and events. This particular tree ring illustrates that there was a fire in 1978 and that a dry season was experienced in 1959. One way to present your data is in a table. This table shows the findings of an investigation into glacial retreat. It's important to have a column describing the location followed by the core number. Here you can see that the number of tree rings show the age in which the trees colonise. We can therefore infer the number of years since recession. Another way to present your findings is by using a graph. This graph plots the number of tree rings by the years since glacier recession at given locations. 